those of you who don't know, I used to work for Walmart Corporation, which, by the way, is the most evil company on the planet. I hate them actually more than I hate Apple. And those of you who don't know, I hate Apple quite a bit. I hate Dell, I hate Alienware, I hate Apple, but Walmart is what I hate more than all of these combined. And the reason why is because they pay their employees like crap. On Black Friday, you're not allowed to buy from uh, your uh, your store. Your, an employee is not allowed to buy from the store. Um, their family's not allowed to buy from the store. And anybody that's even more, anywhere remotely related to this individual cannot buy from their store. So you can't eat. Like They keep you there for like upwards of 15 hours at a time. And you can't buy anything there. And you can't leave your station because people might curb stomp you and steal something so that's how much i hate walmart aside the fact that their black friday deals are terrible anyway now on to the actual story and now that i'm done bad mouthing well i'm not done bad mouthing them because this is what makes me so happy um <clears throat> there's been a a glitch in the system with sears amazon and um what else target there's been several other places where their stuff has been glitching and i found this out through various social media sites uh, saw a couple videos on YouTube and things like that and I figured I would share with my followers what I saw in case you guys haven't because I, I, if you hate Walmart as much as I do this is going to make you guys either hate yourself for not knowing it before or just make you piss your pants laughing because I'm serious I'm finding this stuff so delicious I can't even sit still because I'm so happy about it um, okay so the story goes that Sears among others, posted on their websites that the 3DS and Wii U bundles were going for a whopping $60. Now, keep in mind that's probably about how much it costs to produce these systems. So Nintendo's getting screwed, Sears is getting screwed, Kmart's getting screwed, and all that kind of stuff. Now, those are okay, but the big hitter is the fact that Walmart's price match is unquestioned. They have to price match any ad that they see from anyone else so people are going into Walmart dropping that little piece of paper on the table and says bitch give me a $60 Wii fine okay so now you have a 2013 2013 excuse me 2013 era uh, gaming console for $60 you might even be able to get the new 3DS for like $60 I'm not sure if it's been released yet but you can get the original 3DS, the DS3, uh, 3DS XL, the 2DS, and all those other uh, uh, variations of the 3DS for $60. Okay, so you can get both for a whopping $120 plus tax. Now, it gets even better because Amazon screwed up and posted a storefront, little beta project thing, you know, electronics, all that kind of stuff. And uh, <clears throat> so they posted the PlayStation 4 bundles for $90. Okay, so that is a 400% difference in price or something like that. Like, it's one quarter of the price, I believe. Like, not 400%, but that is four times cheaper than you're supposed to be able to buy it for. Especially if it's not a bundle. Like, uh, I think Titanfall bundle for X-Bone was like 500 bucks. So, you do the math on that one up. Um, yeah, Uncharted 4 or whatever the hell bundle that they've got for PS4. But Walmart, again, getting screwed out of a $90. So at that, that point, you're getting screwed out of 90 60 60 So you haven't even spent $200 yet. I think just about with tax, at where I'm from anyway, it's like 6%. But um, So you're spending roughly $200 to give a kid a nerdgasm to where they nut themselves to death, thinking, I'm hot shit. <clears throat> and the other's committing suicide when they realize that their uh, their friend has all the hot shit and they don't because their parents obviously had money and loved them as long as they don't tell anyway this is what makes me so happy because Walmart is hemorrhaging money so they're actually losing money like they should be instead of being stingy little fuck sticks and not paying their employees so they're you're losing their money one way or the other which is so awesome because you know a lot of these people that are making these deals and it's not Black Friday so even employees can get away with it by the way so they're able to actually get their kids something that they really want or get something that their significant other wants or something that they really deserve because be realistic retail sucks and people need something to keep their morale up because I'll tell you right now Walmart has some of the lowest morale in the entire world as far as a company goes I've known people that have worked there for 20 years and they hate every second of it because they said they saw how good it was back in the old days and now it just went <clears throat> so yeah um, 
my question to you is, uh, what do you think? you think Walmart deserves this and that they should feel bad for being pricks all these years? Or are you siding with the people saying, oh, that's dishonest, you shouldn't do it? Um, personally, I would do it several times. I would spend like $1,000 buying a whole bunch of these things and turn around and sell them when they go back up again, to be honest with you. I, I'm that kind of a person because I would, you know, do that. Or not, I wouldn't jack up the price all the way to full. I'd, I'd charge like fifty dollars more or something you know get uh, get back something that's capitalism that's fair now that being said again do you side with walmart kmart and all those other companies that had their errors um do you think they're going to tighten their security do you think they're going to get rid of the price match guarantee which a lot of people have actually relied on over the years uh or over the time period not years but the time period that it's been there because it's not all that old um do you think it's dishonest? Do you think that it's a better idea to go for that right now? Like, when you if retrospect, that, do you think it was better to do that or wait for Black Friday where people actually get beaten and robbed and all that other kind of crap? Like, we saw last year with GTA 5, people got murdered and stuff over a damn video game, which is stupid. Um, yeah, so go ahead and tell me your thoughts in the comments below and be sure to rate, like, comment, favorite, subscribe to my channel, all that kind of good stuff. What all those little buttons do down there, destroy the like button, obviously. And I will see you guys in the next video, guys. So I'll see you next time.